This beautifully crafted, ornate, fourth century goblet is called the Lysurgus Cup. And it's the earliest known example of the implementation of nanotechnology. How is this using nanotechnology? Well, you'll notice in these images on the screen that the cup displays itself in a series of striking color schemes. Under normal light, it appears opaque green. But when light passes through it from behind, it suddenly glows a rich, vibrant red. Now, this effect is called dichroism, but it's not just artistic, it's highly scientific. Modern analysis of this cup, which is currently being housed in the British Museum in London, revealed that whoever was responsible for creating this cup had somehow suspended nanoscale particles of gold and silver about 50 to 100 nanometers wide within the glass matrix. These nanoparticles interact with light in complex ways and create something called surface plasmon resonance. The scattering and the absorbing of different wavelengths depending on how the light hits the surface. And this is what causes these unique color shifts. Now here's the thing, to create this effect intentionally, one would require an understanding of particle size, light behavior, and metallurgy that modern science only began to unravel in the 20th century. Yet this cup was made in the 4th century and predates the discovery of modern nanotechnology by about 1,600 years.